Hello there. My name is Jason Perkins. Welcome to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia Workers' Compensation cases. I created this series of videos because I wanted to provide people who've been hurt at work with helpful information about Georgia's Workers' Compensation Law and the benefits that they should receive under that law. Today, I want to talk to you about whether Georgia Workers' Compensation covers a particular type of injury, and that injury is a loss of vision or blindness. So yes, Georgia workers' compensation law generally covers blindness or loss of vision that occurs as a result of an occupational accident or disease. Let's talk about exactly what that means. An occupational accident is generally some sort of traumatic event at work. It may be one particular event or a cumulative trauma type event. So if you suffered a loss of vision from an object penetrating your eye or getting into your eye, then that could be an occupational accident. It could also be an occupational accident if you suffered a loss of vision from cumulative events that resulted in that loss of vision. So this could be objects getting in your eye over time or chemicals getting in your eye over time and causing you to lose your vision as a result of that. Now, you might also have a worker's compensation claim for loss of vision if your loss of vision was due to an occupational disease. Um, there are certain occupational diseases that can be covered under Georgia's workers' compensation law, but it is generally harder to prove an occupational disease than it is an occupational accident. Now, if your loss of vision or blindness is covered under Georgia's workers' compensation law, let's talk about what sort of workers' compensation benefits you should receive. So Georgia's workers' compensation law generally provides three different types of benefits. There are wage loss benefits. So if your loss of vision caused you to be unable to work, or if it limited you to light duty work that paid you less, you might receive some benefits for your lost wages. These would be called either temporary total disability or temporary partial disability benefits. You can also receive benefits from medical treatment and testing. Um, so treatment with certain authorized doctors for your injury, the testing that's needed to diagnose your injury, workers' compensation should pay for that treatment and testing. And under Georgia law, when those authorized doctors, workers' compensation covers 100% of the cost of that treatment and testing. The third benefit that you can receive is something called permanent partial disability benefits. In other words, if your loss of vision ends up being permanent, whether it's total loss of vision or partial loss of vision in your eye, your doctor should give you a permanent partial disability rating. If you completely lose vision in one eye, under Georgia's permanent partial disability law, you should receive 150 weeks of permanent partial disability benefits. Now, if your loss of vision is not total, then it's going to be probably less than that. Um, but that's the um, number of weeks of benefits that Georgia provides for loss of complete vision in one eye. Now, if you suffer loss, permanent loss of vision in both eyes, or what's referred to as total or even industrial blindness, then you should qualify for a catastrophic designation under Georgia's workers' compensation law. A catastrophic designation is going to entail you to different benefits as well. Um, under the benefits I talked about earlier that you can receive, there's generally limits on how long you can receive your medical benefits or your wage loss benefits, whereas the benefits general, those limits generally do not apply in catastrophically designated workers' compensation cases. So if you could qualify for catastrophic designation, it's important to be sure that you do so. Um, you'd also receive the benefit of getting a catastrophic rehabilitation supplier assigned to your case if you qualify for a catastrophic designation. Hope you found this information about whether Georgia workers' compensation law covers blindness or loss of vision helpful. If you have, please let me know that. One of the best ways you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. If you've got other questions about Georgia workers' compensation law, I'd encourage you to reach out and get a free consultation about your workers' compensation case. There's two easy ways you can schedule that. The first is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen, and the other is by reaching out to us to our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com where you can click on and submit the free consultation request form and a member of our team will reach out to you. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today. I want to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injuries.